looking for cathode but it's in the book of Herodotus, it is the history the index it says Catherine right, the king of Egypt the pyramid built by so it was built by him who is called Catherine in Harlequinassus in Greece, right? Anatolia. Uh, Herodotus is like an ancestor of the Turks, the Ottoman Turks. I would clearly say that, but that they they took order in their beliefs from him. I told you, Hellenism was the lies. The Greeks wrote in their own language. Okay, look at this. Page 76. And he gave you the truth from Egypt. I always say that. That's what it says. Alright. Looking for him. Particularly. Cheops reigned, the Egyptians said, 50 years was succeeded at his demise by Kepherin, his brother. So he clearly said that. So I'll be looking at the History Channel and all of the modern day Egyptologists and all of these people from the Egypt of today, the Israel of today is not the same as the Egyptians in the Pharaoh's day when they were the absolute rulers over the land and no white people <laughs> could do what they're doing right now in the pyramid and tell the story about what it is and what it you know what they think it is and what ancient aliens that's the name of the program shit <laughs> ancient aliens built the pyramids <laughs> the book clearly said who built it <laughs> care for it that's what it said. Chepherin. Who I say is Kafara, King of Africa. The African king. King of Africa. The Lord of Lords, the King of Kings. Kafra. Mm. Africa. Catherine. Mm. That's what it says. Imitated the conduct of his predecessor. And like him built a pyramid which did not, however, equal the dimensions of his brothers. Mm -mm. Of this I am certain, for I measured them both myself. Mm -mm. This is so rather, this is the history. Mm -mm. Book 2, mm -mm. 127, mm -mm. on the notes. I am trying to interpret it. I'm the translator of this. Okay, in the Nigga, Spedia, and the Granica. But the Negroes, the Nekis. <laughs> okay, this is our history. This is our heritage. This is the truth about us. This is my soul. I know an uh, ancient alien <laughs> 10,000 years ago didn't build the pyramids. <laughs> ancient aliens. <laughs> ancient aliens flew down from <laughs> Mars and some shit. <laughs> The way they say it, from Jupiter, <laughs> built the temple of Ammon. <laughs> Fucking white people. <laughs> but it clearly says in the book who built it, and the dimensions. I measured it myself. He says <laughs> it has no subterraneous apartments nor any canal from the Nile to supply it with water, as the other pyramid has. So the first pyramid has water, where you can get the water at. Mm -hmm. The second pyramid does not have a canal or waterway to get water. So mm -hmm. in that, the Nile water introduced through an aqueduct or artificial duct surrounds an island. Now you say that's Phi of Pharaoh's island. Pharaoh's Island is right there. A mythical floating island right there. We talked about this shit. Floating island. 
by itself and the water supply and everything. They say that's the Bin Bin Stone. Mm -hmm. The mound that on that island right there. I knew this thing. I knew it. Mm -mm. Well, anyway, it surrounds an island where the body of Cheops, who they say is Khufu, Cheops is Khufu or Cheops, Khufu is said to lie. Mm -mm. So Khufu should be buried under it, mm -hmm. under the first pyramid where the water is. Mm -hmm. It clearly said that. I just watched some little program where they didn't know this big burial chamber was. Mm -hmm. They found, and it had running water, like that just says, but they didn't know what it was. They thought it was a car battery or something. Something they didn't know what it was, but it generated electricity inside of it. So, in this, it was a car, it was a sarcophagus inside of it. So, there was all kind of electricity around it. The coffin lid was made out of gold and all type of metallic and metals out of Egypt. I know it had some type of kiops or. Khufu's burial. Mm. The Cheops is, who they say is biblical, the Noah figure. Biblical Noah, whoever the, they translated him to be in some Bible, in Gutenberg Bible or the Bible in the Douay in France somewhere. They have changed the image of the person these things are talking about did these things. So, mm, well, the man's body was actually buried in the first pyramid. Mm -hmm. That's what it says. Mm -hmm. They thought it was a battery, a Baghdad burial, anything. But it could have been. Mm -hmm. The coffin could have been all of those things that he's saying it is. It's full of electricity. And they had some type of power to send mm -hmm. light up into heaven in the Stargate and it lined up with Orion. Okay, that's what it did. Mm -hmm. His inner, his life force was inside his body stopped living. Mm -mm. But he was in this metallic, mm -mm, electrical burial chamber and shit. Mm -mm. <laughs> and the transmigration thing, with, it's a, the, the soul, your soul. Soul means the sun or in the sun. Mm -mm. His flame, his fire, his, his soul was still inside of the sarcophagus. So, and it went into heaven. And when he died, it ascended and it became what some type of light in Orion. So, mm -mm, that we all believed in and transmigration. Mm -mm. That's what I believe. Mm -mm. It was no ancient alien. It was no. no they said it could have been a cow or a bull ch chamber, but I know that he built, uh, Herodotus, I read this before, he says he built, one of the Mycenaries built a, he built a coffin or a sarcophagus for the burial of his, his daughter died and he made a cow or a bull mm -mm, and shaped it. Is a casket for his daughter when she buried a, like a, a cow. So, mm, so I think that could have been in one of them. Mm, like they was thinking it to be. So, mm, mm, somebody had mentioned that it could have been a bull burial. So, but I know everything. I've been doing a lot of Egyptology for for a long time now. Mm, mm. So, so as a kid, I want to know these things because mm, mm, I always wanted a part of. They always made the mummy out to be some type of monster or scary thing in Halloween and shit. <laughs> Everybody who's scared of him was supposed to take over and rob him or kill him or whatever. The mummies and shit. <laughs> he made us to be something evil. So, but actually it was full of all these powers and energies and shit that went up into heaven with God and shit. the Stargate and shit. <laughs> They make all these movies, they read all these books, everything they have to go back into classical literature, into biblical literature or historical. Mm -mm. It's going to take them right back there again about all of these things you're trying to... 
act like didn't exist or never. Okay. Mm -mm. Catherine built his pyramid close to the Great Pyramid of Cheops. And of the same dimensions, except that he lowered the height 40 feet. For the basement, he employed the many colored stone of Ethiopia. These two pyramids stand both on the same hill, an elevation not far short of a hundred feet in height. The reign of Kephra, mm -mm, or Kephrin, mm, lasted 56 years. Thus, the affliction of Egypt endured for the space of 106 years, during the whole of which time the temples were shut up and never opened. Mm. And that stop. I want to stop right there. Mm. They were never opened back then. Mm. See, that's what's happening to today. The Europeans are now there. The Ottoman Turks are there. Mm. And they're wide open. And they have went inside of this place. And that was the great house mm -mm. of the God of Egypt. The, the, the man God on the earth. Mm. The Lord of your God from the land of Egypt. Mm. They were never open back then. They were always closed shut. Because mm -mm. all of those secrets, all of the knowledge of those things will lie with the people that they belong to. Mm -mm. And there's no way that the European nations, the Ottoman Turks, who are from the Greeks or from the, the, the Latins, mm -mm. Seleucids or the Ptolemies, mm -mm. once did this in a, a thousand year period before, 2000 years ago, mm -mm. 300 something BC to 30 BC. Mm -mm. This mixture with the, the Anglo or the Anglo Egyptian. The European, European Egyptian people, mm, they got mixed and intermingled and that's what Russia was all about. The multitude of nations came into Babylon. Mm. The big metropolis, the big sin city because of its wealth and all the people want to go there and sin there. So mm, that was the ancient sin city. Mm -mm. Now, since all of the multitudes have come in, they have now opened it wide open. Mm -mm. And now everything is misconstrued, I see. Mm -mm. The way they have European people, mm -mm. Who these things don't belong to, they know nothing about it. Mm -mm. They're just going and paying for their, their, their parents were so rich, they could send them there to go. Mm -mm. To do something, they go there. Mm -mm. I saw this program. They were talking about Napoleon Bonaparte goes there. They're trying to say he did not shoot the 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 nose of the great sphinx, mm -mm. but the history already says he did. Mm -mm. They said some other guy did it too. Mm -mm. Who was a sultan or no? It wasn't a sultan, but he was some quite type of Ottoman Turk person, like in the nine hundred Islamic figure. Mm -mm. In the 900s. Mm. Now, it's these people who are claiming to be Islamic people. Mm. They want to destroy the old buildings, destroy the old monuments of Sh of Assyria. Mm -mm. Of Assyria and uh, uh, the Pharaoh's people in Egypt. So, mm. they're thinking about, oh, we're going to demolish the Great Sphinx or demolish the, the, the pyramids and wipe it off and build a mosque or something like that. I heard some Islamic guy saying that one time. And we thought he was all the place for saying that. They already got him already. Mm -mm. But they was thinking like that. That, oh, that's either nature or a lie, a lie, you know. You know, God didn't tell him to go destroy that place. That was the great house of some people that were greater and far more intelligent than the people who were saying these things. So, mm -mm. Who I know or of a bloodline of the vandals, vandalism. That's all they ever did. They vandalized the beautiful things. Mm -mm. They've always been the enemy of the great house, of the foul. Mm -mm. They've always misconstrued and gave you bad information about the place. So, mm -mm. But this is the nigga Speedy and the Granica. Mm -mm. I'm going to give you the truth and nothing but the truth. Shout out all the little white lies with the big black truth. Mm -mm. Can you dig it? Mm -mm. 
Suck. <laughs>